Welcome back to another video and today we're opening the MED 17.5 from a Mark 7 Golf GTI. Let's open it up so we can take a bent, we can take a boot read. So take the screws off. Torx. Clear. We're going to start from the other end to the heat pad. So first things first, we're going to work on this edge here and we're going to lift up and just cut away at the same time. Little by little, once you can get the blade in there. Sometimes it does pop off, it's a bit tighter than it. Just cut away slowly. Just a little bit thick, there's not much edge on here. So I'll cut away nice and slow at the silicon. You can just feel it pop through. Sometimes the other side of the spatula is better than the, um, you just got a little experiment, let's see. And get a bit more leverage on it. Try not to. Try to nice and slow and calm. No rush. Little centimeter at a time. shape like this. This is always a good one to have because it's got a little point on it so you can get into the little you can get into the uh, you can get into the holes there um, where the screws were. And then once you can get onto this side here let's try and find something a bit thinner actually.
get the other one under. Right, so that's in that corner. Okay. Leave it up a little more and just get it lined up with the, the screw hole. But careful, you don't want to go any further than the screw hole. So that's in there now. A bit more car cleaner down this edge here. And then this edge right to lift up on its own. Right, ease it out. And you hear it like the, the you'll hear the glue um, just coming away nice, it's a bit more carbs. So. so and once you've got that in there on that, leave it up and just cut away all the spare bits you've missed on here. I'm just trying, I like to try and leave that in there because it works quite well. Um, next couple of tools, we've got the peppers and the tree tool. So once you're in here, what I like to do is just place the bits, but just be careful, we don't want to damage any components. into the lamp so I can see um, what's going on. Got a lot of and from if you have a look down you can see the bits of blue bit of sealant that um that mist just put on away nice and easy. tool under the screw hole and then we've got safe leverage because that's only going to lift the hole and lift up and like I said if you can hold it and slice away any more sealant that you can get to but it will come to a stop where the lid gets tight so, so once you've got that leverage there you can get this tool in here nice and safe where the screw hole is a bit more leverage like so. And then back into the lap is how I like to see so I can see all of it. You can see everything inside the ECU. And, um, and then the trim tool. I like to go down the side here, but we're not getting anywhere near any components. We're just sliding it in just to take the weight of the pressure of the lid. And then we're going to work from the right side. And now we're going to start trying to get rid of, um, we're going to try and work on the heat paste. So, carb clean down onto the bottom of the heat paste. So, it just starts working on the glue. And we can start just easing up here with some pressure. And also, I can see inside the UC now that this bit will get loose. So, we'll just keep pushing it down to keep that pressure. Also, you can, I can see down the side here, so you're not getting near any components.
So I've got a good view of the ECU now. Going to just spray some more parking on the bottom heat shield. I'm just going to keep applying the pressure of the pliers and I'm just wait for the heat glue at the bottom, the heat paste, sorry, to come away. It's starting to come away now. And you'll just see the, the line slowly across the bottom get bigger and bigger, it's nice and slow. A bit more carb cleaner to get it into the crack. Just keep applying the pressure with this tool. Fantastic tool this is for opening up ECUs if you're doing it regularly. And then if I move further to the middle, then keep applying the pressure. And once you get to a certain point, that, that, that um, the trim tool will come out naturally. And once you went to the left side of the ECU, you stick it through at the bottom and just get right in it. So that ECU lid gives way. And you can just pry it up. You can just get the scalpel along the bottom to get access. And then it just fold away. And what I like to do is, well, I'll just get this in here and then kind of just fries it up on the edge and we're off. As you can see, it's opened, no damage, ready to write, read, vibe boot, and you'll see that in the next clip. See, reading it with auto tuner boot. Button. Hit the like button, give us a subscribe to see more.